All right, welcome back to part two. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna get right into this now. Um, there's a few sort of housekeeping things I definitely wanna do first. Um, right in the root of my project, and this is just because I don't really like memorizing commands, um, I'm gonna make something called a make file. And uh, this is, make files are pretty standard. Uh, they work on Mac, they work on Windows, they work on Linux. Um, and uh, this allows us to sort of create uh, aliases without having uh, aliases specific to this project basically without having to like put these in our bash file or something so the first thing I'm going to uh, put in here is just something to start my server so uh, I just have it server underscore run and this will cd so change directory into listy server because I'm going to be running this right in the root uh, and then it's going to run that dart bin uh, main.dart and that's why I couldn't remember the command because uh, once I have this uh, I've forgotten what the command is um, so make files are cool like that and basically this will allow me to, um, this will uh, allow me, so if I go back to my root directory right here where you see my make file, I can just go make server run. And make files are cool because they are autocomplete as well. Um, at least on Mac they are, um, probably on Linux too, I don't know about Windows, but I can just go make run. And I do get this error because uh, I realize it's called uh, listy2 server. And yeah, just writing make server will now get my server up and going. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, something for generating. So uh, server generate, and I'll remember to change this. Um, so this was that command when I made a change to my models, essentially, uh, to the endpoint, rather. Um, this will regenerate all that sort of like uh, glue code between the, uh, the server and the client. And uh, you can put the flag watch, which I like to do, because that way anytime you make a change, um, it'll just auto run this command. So um, we're just gonna try that out. And uh, again, I'm gonna go back a directory and I'm gonna go make server generate. And there we go. And it's gonna say done in a second, in theory. Okay, cool, so it's done and it says it's listening for changing changes. Okay, uh, the other thing, the other command I'm going to put in, um, and this is because uh, we won't need this right away, but we are going to be using um, some of our own generated stuff uh, specifically for um, our models. We're going to be using Freezed. So um, I'm just getting this command ready too, and this will basically go into the Flutter directory instead and run the, uh, the build process on, my, um, on our custom models. And this app is only actually gonna use one model that isn't like a model that's also bridge server side that that server pod uses. This is gonna be something that's sort of like manage our session. You'll, you'll see it in a little while. But uh, I just wanna put this in command here because running this by memory is uh, not really something I want to do. And I'm just gonna put one other one in. Uh, no, I'm not gonna worry about that one. We're not gonna need it. So here we got our, uh, just our make file, a little bit of uh, lovely housekeeping there. Okay, so where should we get started here? Well, uh, first thing I would like to do is um, let's go into our Flutter app and go to the main.dart. And we are going to get rid of the example app, basically. So I'm just deleting all this and it's really sad. So now um, we don't need this, um, although we will need it. I'm just gonna get rid of it for now. Um, all this other stuff we can keep for the moment. And okay, so we got that going, that's great. Um, what are some other things you wanna do? Well, first of all, um, and I always, uh, this is usually one of the first things I do is debug show check banner. I just hate the little debug thing in the top right. I got the purpose of it, but um, I'm pretty much always working in any, anytime I'm seeing it, it's gonna be debug and it just gets in the way. So we'll turn that off. And uh, let's um, go in our theme data and let's use Material 3, um, which is the, you know, sort of new updated uh, material design. Um, it looks nice. And uh, let's give it a color scheme. So we're just going to use uh, color scheme. This is just built in Flutter stuff, uh, material stuff from Seed. And we'll pick a color. Uh, colors, I like the, uh, the blue. We can use blue gray. And uh, we want to make our brightness um, brightness.dark. Just make it a dark mode sort of app. We're not going to worry in this about making it, uh, you know, use the device's um, brightness, uh, you know, dark first light mode. We're just going to make it a dark, nice app. So uh, if we go back here, if we go back to our app, um, and I guess uh, rebuild it, we'll probably. I think because I've uh, 
completely change some things. Uh, let's put back in a home screen. Sorry, my mistake. Let's just put a home page, and I'm just going to temporarily do a scaffold with an app bar. Um, no, we only need an app bar. Let's just put body text. Hello. There we go. So now we have hello, and <laughs> it's kind of caught up there, but uh, we'll see it there. Hello. Great. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, and I like to do this uh, at least during, um, you know, development, because I get annoyed by all the const things. Half the time, it once I finish writing the code, it won't actually be a const. Uh, so I'm going to go to our analysis options, and specifically the one on Flutter. And we're just going to put a couple lines in here. Um, now, I'm doing this. Uh, I do usually end up uh, removing these later to, uh, to check, you know, because I do like to still, I prefer const constructors for sure when it's possible, but it kind of just gets in the way of, of working um, because again, a lot of the time you're building something, you know it's not actually gonna be a const once you finish doing it because it's gonna have some kind of dynamic data and I just get annoyed with all the underlines. So, uh, okay, cool. So we put our analysis, analysis options in, great. Okay, let's install a few packages that we will want. So I'm going to the pub, I'm gonna go to our pub spec so um, uh, ServerPod, at least from a Flutter point of view, is not really opinionated at all. You saw it's a very, it's a one file project aside from all the, the default Flutter things. Um, and there's nothing stopping us from using whatever packages we want. Now, one thing is we probably don't need, uh, the one exception would be, you know, there's not really a need to install something like DO or uh, HTTP unless you have to do some calls to a separate server or something, because that's already all built into uh, to the way ServerPod works. Um, but there are definitely some packages that we are going to want. And um, for the purpose of, uh, of this project, um, let's get them uh, let's get them installed here. So first of all, um, I do want to, uh, and we'll put these ones here. There's a couple um, server pod modules, which I'm just going to put in now, and we'll talk through these when we actually get to these parts. Um, these are just some things for authentication and, and logging with email. So I'm just going to put them right there next to the other server pod stuff. Uh, then we're going to use something called get it. Uh, it's a pretty popular package for uh, singletons and locators and stuff like that, and uh, you'll see where we're going to use it. Um, we're also going to be using my favorite state management package ever, Riverpod, latest 2.36. We're also going to be using Freezed, and Freezed is so that we can sort of create these models with, with uh, serialization and, and everything like that. Um, and again, these model, this is just going to be for our own like sort of like client side models. Um, there already is sort of like a, a version of something like Freeze being used on ServerPod for all the generation and stuff they do. But we're getting it installed. And then we are going to need an image picker at some point so that we can uh, actually create um, the, uh, the, the avatar uploading thing, proof of concept. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're going to run pub get. Um, if you don't get a problem with that, you simply just run um, flutter pub get like you would any other time in a flutter project. Nothing different there. All right, so now we have uh, we have that. Let's get some other things out of the way here. So um, in the lib folder, uh, we're just going to set up sort of like our main things. So we're making a source folder first as normal. And uh, in here, we are going to make a folder called feature. And inside source, we're also going to make a folder called utils. And this will allow us to just put some like utility stuff um, in here and, and whatnot. But uh, inside features where a lot of our main things are going to go. So let's uh, first of all make a new folder, my mistake, new folder called core. And this is where sort of like our core functionality is it specific to something like ingredients, categories, profiles, that kind of stuff would go. And um, what do we need to put in core? So generally um, inside any of these features, the pattern that I like and I'll just make it right now. I'm gonna do it in terminal, it's a little bit easier. So go into lib, or sorry, lib, uh, we have to go into uh, Flutter first, uh, lib source feature. So I'm just in this directory now, and we'll go into the core directory. Nothing in here yet, and let's just make some directories. So uh, I always like to have a components folder, a models folder, a providers folder, 
a screens and a screens folder. Now in the case of core, I'm also just adding one more folder called singletons. And you don't have to necessarily create these all at once. You can do it once you get to it. So now we have these sort of folders here. And um, let's just start with uh, hooking up the things that are specific to ServerPod. So if you remember the ServerPod example in the main.dart, and in fact, it might still be there. I might have not deleted it yet. Um, let's open that up. It is. So we have sort of this client here in the main.dart. And technically, that'll work because you can import files from your main.dart. But I just don't, uh, it just feels a little bit weird to me. Um, and uh, we just want this to be something that I, I think a singleton is a perfect use case for this. So we're actually going to go into our singletons folder here. And I'm just going to make a file. Um, and actually, I've had a change of heart. I'm actually going to put this in utils. It's kind of a utility thing to me. And then we can delete this folder. So I'm just putting singleton.dart inside my utils. And uh, what we're going to want to do here is actually import in uh, that get it project uh, package. Um, and then um, that is good. So the way this works, uh, we're going to create uh, this thing um, called, and I like to use just the word singleton for this. And it's going to be equal to get it.instance. So this is our instance of get it. Um, and this allows us to locate things. If it doesn't make sense yet, um, it will in a little bit. And I'm going to make a function, and it's going to be a future, but it's not going to return anything. And we're going to call it init singletons. And it is obviously an async function. And we're going to take that singleton, and we're actually going to register a, um, register a singleton here. And uh, we, don't, we haven't made this yet, but uh, we'll just kind of get this in here. And um, we'll have to do something there. So uh, what we're going to do is create our um, create this file here, um, and we're going to call it, we're going to put this in utils as well as well. And it's going to be called this API client. And uh, we're going to make a class. Okay, and it's going to be an abstract class. We're never going to actually work with this one. This is just going to set up the properties for it and methods and everything. And we're going to call it API client. And um, we're going to have a late session manager. So session manager is part of um, the server pod auth package that we already have installed. I'm going to call it session manager. And we're also going to have a late client. Now client, you'll see it's getting imported from our um, list C2 client package. And um, we'll just call it client. And this will also have a function in it called init. And this is an abstract class, so we're not actually going to cr create the code that init does. We're just essentially declaring it, kind of like a header file to be like, here's what this thing can do. Now what we're going to do is make something called API client implementation. Implementation, if I can spell it right. And it's going to extend our lovely API client. And kind of using this is cool because we actually get this uh, this quick fix to create the missing override. So it's expecting there to be an override because it's extending this for init. Um, and what is that init function going to do? A couple of things. So first of all, we're going to work with our client. And because it's extending it, we can basically call client. And it's calling it through this extension to here. And this is essentially that code that was in main.dart. So I'm just going to actually grab this guy here. And in the meantime, get rid of this so we don't forget. And back in our API client, we're just going to say client equals this. And we need to import in this guy here too. Um, now, because we are going to be using authentication, which we will get into later, um, there is one other thing we want to do inside here. We want to set up what our authentication key manager is, and that's basically something called authentication flutter, or sorry, flutter authentication key manager, and it's just a constructor on that. And that's all we have to uh, worry about. Uh, ServerPod will take care of the rest. Okay, so inside our init, um, I realize we should also have the word async here. That's why it's giving us that error because it is a future. And what we're going to do is then um, create our, so we've created our client. Now we're going to create our session manager. And that's just going to be equal to a session, session manager. And 
its caller is going to be client.modules.auth. Um, now I realize one thing, this is not, we have to still set this up server side, so I'm just going to uh, go like this until we get to the auth stuff, and uh, we will come back and do that. And we're also going to want to make sure that our um, session manager gets um, gets initialized. So I'm just going to do that dot initialize. And because we don't have this set up yet, we will uh, we will come back to that and put that back in. Uh, we won't worry about sessions yet. But now we have this thing set up, and we can basically work with this in our code. So back over here now, we can actually register that singleton. And when you register a singleton, you need to say what um, API, what the uh, what it is, and then the actual function that would be called, which would be the constructor for API client implementation. All right. So now we have our singletons, and we want to make sure after we register it that we await the singleton. And now this is how we actually use a singleton anywhere in our code. We can use this now. Uh, you don't have to have access to context or anything. You can use this in any of your um, any of the client side code, any of the the Flutter code. Um, you just do the singleton, the name of the singleton, and then we can call init. So all that is good. So we want to await that because the idea is in our main.dart, which now we're going to make async, we want to first of all await init singletons. And I realize there is a typo here. How do we fix that? Uh, there's a couple ways. We can obviously just rename it, but uh, VS Code is awesome, and we can just right click. Um, what did I do there? Rename symbol, I think. Right click, rename symbol singletons and that is hopefully the correct spelling you'll see it actually changed over here now because we did it with the symbol okay so yeah we want to do that we also um good practice is i don't even i don't know why this isn't even just part of usually the startup app uh, we want to make sure our, that uh, everything is in initialized before any of this goes um, and then um, we are going to run our app. So this will in this will ensure before run app gets called that our singletons initialize, which we do need because uh, it's going to be basically needing to call APIs right away to see if you're logged in and all that stuff. Okay, and look, now that we got rid of the server pod stuff in here, we can get rid of a few imports and we have this awesome thing. Okay, while we're here though, um, we are going to be using river pod. So I'm actually going to uh, wrap this with a widget. And we're going to call it, we're going to wrap it with provider scope, which is a river pod package. And this means anything within my app is now uh, going to be accessible by river pods uh, consumers and stuff. So we just want to do it right up there. Okay. So that's just some, uh, you know, boring uh, yet important, you know, stuff out of the way. And uh, yeah, in the next one, we're going to actually get the authentication set up so that you can actually create account, log in. Um, and log back out. So uh, see you in the next one.